Mommy just once let me go play with her. Shut up. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? Interesting. Henry was the one that made the robots, right? So is this Charlotte that's talking? Welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career, where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? But he's what not wrong. What my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? Excuse me? We understand the stresses of a new job, and we're here for you. Clearly. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. Okay. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Jazz would be great. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. Great, my favorite nausea keyboard. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting Casual Bongos. You know what? I'm not mad at that. Huh. It's actually not that now bad. Now your elevator experience has been customized to your needs, and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. What? Please enjoy the rest of your descent. Lackluster performance by ensuring our livelihood. Yeah, we should have just been homeless. The good news is that these bongos are caressing my eardrums. I guess our character's just twerking now. Makes me wonder what Engravy's name is going on. We've been accepting a lot recently with this new game. Something to note is that none of the games uh, mentioned another location with an entirely different roster of animatronics. Sister location could be a loose term as well. We don't know how related Due this to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. Fantastic, another death trap. It for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. And we Allowing will be. Allowing to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. What are they talking you will need about? To reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. This sounds like it'll Let's be check fun. on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. What the? She's a fidget spinner now too. Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. No, it's Let's not. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. This is a it's disaster. To make sure she's on her stage before entering. And of course, she's not there. Are you surprised? Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime uh, Auditorium. Earth to robot. Are There's your no chips fried? Foxy's not in there. Tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. It wasn't letting me Proceed shock directly either. directly to Funtime Auditorium. Uh-huh. Can't wait for Foxy to gouge my insides with his hook. He said there's no reason to check on baby, but that vent opened. Decisions, huh? Exactly. That's there for a reason. I'm going through it. Remember, curiosity killed the cat. Just like how you're going to kill Larry Sinclair for coming out with the truth about you. What a time to bring that up. Motion trigger. Circus gallery vent. When else am I supposed to when our robot friend is on his 15th run-on sentence? I saw that interview. Kind of felt nice not to be the only Democrat being fried. No substantial evidence either. Just pointless and spiteful accusations. Also, there's nothing really to do in here, so I guess we just wasted our time. No substantial evidence? Obama, that story had more details than a Harry Potter fan fiction. Stop trying to play off damage control here. It was an interesting interview to say the least. However, I'd prefer to avoid the drama of things for now. You defecate on my chest daily. What are you talking about? Circus gallery vent. Historically accurate. That means we can only move through her lair. Wait, it's a she now? Yeah, didn't you hear the voice log? Huh. I thought Foxy being in the closet during FNAF 4 was only metaphorical. Oh, cool. Pitch black darkness. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. We're dead. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. Oh, that's the flash? You've been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, what use the? it as Wait, what do I do? as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Be quiet, Obama. Matters like this require sneaking through the facility with silence. Ah! Uh, where did that come from? I told you to be quiet, Obama. Now look what you did. I wasn't even talking, hippo face. What else do you want me to do? Now, now we can save the arguments and the insults for the electoral debates. Let's all be civil here. Challenge impossible. It was our first death, too. We were going pretty strong for a decent amount of time. Well, direct the stage light because the star of the show is walking down the red carpet. What? 
He's saying that the world's best security guard is here, so give him the keyboard. I'm impressed you understood that. You think I'm not? Now, what you're about to see is a master class of excellence. First time auditorium, maintenance vent open. The floor's all yours. Don't mind me My when aura. I make a clean getaway Funtime with the whole Foxy game. is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark. As to the ah! Now, I'm certain there's a term to describe the sequence of events that my eyes have just witnessed. Comeuppance? No, hilarious, but that works too. Oh, what is this? They're not letting up with the mini games, I see. I'm circus baby now. Might as well put the makeup on because I look like a whole circus clown. Hence the name. So what do I do here? Just grab this cupcake? Is that an EDP reference? I'm the best around children, like a babysitter through a horror movie that always finds a way to survive. Why is everything a competition to you? Life is a competition. You can't play the game if you don't have any. Interesting how you get this ideology off of a Flash game. Where are all the kids at? Joe. Why are you making that joke? What joke? I was just gonna say it's gonna be your turn. I don't have any cupcakes left. How am I supposed to feed all of these ungrateful children if I don't have any cupcakes? I like how they're all staring at you mindlessly, just waiting for that sweet treat to never end up coming. Well, I'm glad that you're having a good old hoop and a holler. The problem is now that I'm about to run out of time. Realistically, I, I would be baffled if you won the mini game to begin with. And I died. Someone summoned a death ball and I evaporated like a rain cloud. At least Joe can carry us through this. About my turn. That's actually something else that I wanted to run by you guys. Run by us? What are you pulling here? This game does not have the same nightly mechanics as the previous games. As such, every night presents a unique challenge. And to allow for a more immersive experience, I really don't want to act as emergency support during these challenges. You just said a whole lot of nothing, huh? So you don't want to guide us that much because it would be too much of a crutch? Precisely. You're telling me that you're just going to take it easy, sitting in the passenger seat while I'll be risking my life against these freaky frights? The only problem that I could see is getting stuck on a certain part where we just play the level over and over again. We can see where the game takes us. For now, I, I think you should try again, Barack. For being a president, you sure suck at leading. Guess who's back, everybody? This can only yield good results when the captain is making us steer with blindfolds on. Donald, like just Ballora. be quiet Funtime and allow Foxy me to focus. The main activated. goal is to try to get For through this, this reason, as quick as possible. to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. Ah! We are getting hit with haymaker after haymaker on this one. Joe, I think it's time for you to step in and take the wheel already. My face can only get so inflated. There's a reason I want you guys to keep at it. Try again, Donald. You'll get it eventually. Optimism is the key here, Donald. What do you mean? We suck. We're like preschoolers trying to open a whole Amazon package. How optimistic can I be? Well, it, it could always be worse. It's not like we're here for six hours every night. We just have to get past this small roadblock. Unlike Ballora, Shut up already. I've heard it 15 million times. You don't have to inform me how to survive. Apparently he does, because we aren't getting 10 seconds into this thing. What if I just barely move? Will that change anything? Well then. What am I supposed to do? I'm slithering through the compound like a swamp snake, and this fruity fox still finds a way to engulf me sideways. I'm noticing that we're not always getting the mini games after we die. Something tells me that we're gonna be here for a while. I, I wonder, wonder why. why. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Well, we haven't immediately died yet. Maybe that's a good sign. Oh, come on, I was probably so close. Joe, for the love of everything good, please get us through this. It's only night three. I want to move on already. There's purpose behind pain. I believe in you guys. There has to be talent behind how stupid you can be. Oh, like you're one to talk. Just play out the round. It won't kill you. Well? Okay, maybe it will. Oh, and we're back to this old charade again. Wendy has to deliver the Frosties to all the ungrateful children before she explodes or something. Makes me wonder the overall lore here. We don't really know much about how this place really operates, but we can only assume that the sentience of these animatronics implies that there's other forces at work. All I'm wondering is why little Sally requires three whole cupcakes to make her satisfied. Are her parents feeding her dog food? Either that or just ice cream. Maybe some chocolate chocolate chip. Yes, yeah, some chocolate chocolate chip. And just like that, we dissolve into nothingness. The story of Harvey Weinstein. Oh, the misery of starting this game back up. Will we land a different fate? 
Only time will tell. Spoiler warning, we're gonna die. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. All right, no death just yet. Don't jinx anything. Just keep moving, fast moving with the atmosphere of the room. So, uh, what do I do, flash the light? Oh, come on, it looks so far away. Remember, flashing the light is necessary to see where you're going. Dare I say I don't want to get consumed again. What the? What was that? Why did it have organs? Joe? Don't look to him for any quality answers. We might as well be asking a vault door to open sesame. Listen, you guys can harass me all you want, but again, try to stay quiet during these moments. Audio is crucial during these parts. Well, I don't want to sound arrogant or anything of that matter. There it is again. Just keep the comment to yourself. He was ready to pounce as soon as you said anything. He must not be a fan of trash talk, despite looking like trash. Oh, didn't expect that, Joe. Wait, is that Freddy or something? Talk about a wardrobe malfunction. When was the last time you saw a robot with no shielding? I could say yesterday when I had to be around. When I had to be around Jack Smith, but the last thing I want is more judicial filings in my face. I'm not too surprised at that answer. Have we even moved? I feel like we're making no... Wait, what was that? We're home free. Parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It wasn't it easy. that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. Should. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. Oh no. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Yep, we're Locate dead. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Small button near the right cheek. Is this it? For clarification, please note that I'm referring to Freddy's right, not your right. Well, I... Oh, hello there. You look disturbing. Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Are you sure that's the right left, Obama? Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Oh, right eye? Oh, I think I see it. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Good luck finding that one. Ah! Why did that have so much pressure on the faceplate? The faceplates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. My, what lovely teeth you have, Grandma. Is this the button? Feels like we're Excellent. stripping him. The chest cavity should now be open. What's beeping? Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work. Power you module, will now be required I guess. to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Uh, we got a problem here. I'm looking, Bonnie I'm looking. He just disappeared right out of his hand. If you guys didn't hear, you have to find Bonnie and press the black button to release the power module. Wait, I hear something. Is he scrambling around? I don't... There he is! So wait, what am I actually supposed to do then? Fend him off or something? Well, the voice said that you had to press the button under his nose. You'll have to muster up a good reaction to be able to click the button in time. Good to note. Uh, I'll have to keep my wits about me then. Well, what are we doing? Are we just going to be sitting ducks like last time while Obama does all the heavy lifting? Ah, I thought I had him. Go get him, Obama! Show him what for! Oh, jeez. Can you not be so loud? At this point, my hearing aid is going to need a hearing aid. Listen, I'm a big person and a bolder businessman. Is that why you always type in caps? Because you're so loud in the real world? No. At first, it was... Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. I'm trying to, you stupid voice. Anyways, at first it was because I couldn't find out how to turn off cap locks. But it was a blessing in disguise because now I see the overall benefits with typing in all caps. And what's that? Now, I don't say things. I declare things. It gets the attention that I need and emphasizes the point that I try to make. I think it just makes you sound like you're desperate for attention. It's better than what you do. I've seen Siri produce more human emotion through text. I'm just to the point. There's no need for any over-the-top language or foul activities. I say what's on my mind and leave it at that. I mean, I do similar things. Can you two ever disagree on anything? I've read erotica with less romance than you two. We're still human. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. We absolutely disagree on things. Like what? Well, I cannot stand whatever cologne Joe puts on. It makes him smell like a dusty cedar chest. Finally, someone said it. I hated pretending that I didn't have to cough half the time. I don't wear any cologne, Barack. Oh, what's that smell then? I wasn't aware I had a smell.
It's called being musty. Ah! Well, while we're criticizing things about each other, I just wanted to say that Barack looks like a walking cashew. Uh, what does that even mean? Um, do you have any room to talk, Count Dracula? And I thought I was brutal. Are you serious? Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Okay, uh, so we actually have to hit his bow tie. Uh, I'm glad I was able to listen the second time around. Can we not spend our eternities trying to get back here? At this point, we should use the Dragon Balls to get past this night. Trust me, I want to get this over with as much as you guys do. I really don't believe that. I don't believe anything Joe says. Doesn't help when the news does nothing but slander us up and down like a cheat code. That makes me wonder how Bush able to completely sanction himself from the news. Not really do anything of relevance. I don't do anything of relevance yet. I'm getting a 12 course meal about how to use toilet paper from NBC. It's also been about 15 years since he was president. He's also very much in the news, maybe not in the headlines as much, but still in the news. I doubt he also tells you about it because during the 2016 Press campaign- Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. You treated his GOP like a failed vasectomy. That's not true. A failed vasectomy is more successful than what he put together, such a failed presidency. What he did to the American people will be forever known as a travesty. You know, when we did our 50K special on this channel, he actually contacted me. For what? First, he congratulated our booming success, but he implored the possibility of having him on here. No. No. He's already my technical cousin. I don't want to see him more than I have to. Wait, you, you're related? In the loosest way possible, but yes. I see the resemblance. No, you don't. I'm as related to Bush as you are to Mel Gibson. I'm not even related to Mel Gibson. My point exactly. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Anyways, is that a stern no for having him on here? Obama entertained the idea back then, and I wasn't really listening while playing the game. But yeah, I think I'd rather be closer to Lee Harvey Oswald than Bush. That's an interesting reason, but for me, it's because he's slandered my name more times than I can count. And Donald hasn't? Well, that's Donald. He's not all there in the head. I wonder if Bonnie still has his ding -a -ling. See my point? Oh, oh I got God. it. That was an you accident. Fired both power modules. This completes your tasks for the night. Let's go! Please exit the building through Funtime Auditorium, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Wait, we have to get past Foxy again. Joe, please tell us what we need to do here. Same thing as before. Use your camera to navigate through the facility. You know what this means, Donald. I think you can agree that we don't want to do this again, so keep quiet. For once, I'll try to... You were right there. We were so close. Before you guys freak out, just listen to me. We're going to end the episode here. What? We didn't even beat the night. Trust me, there's a reason, okay? We're ending it here. If you guys don't see Sleepy Joe next week, assume he's sleeping with the fishes.